Good morning. Lead code problem for today is last stone weight. We have a collection of stones. Each has a positive integer weight. We choose two heaviest stones and smash them together. The result of this smash is if they are equal weight, both are destroyed. If different, then smaller weight is destroyed and bigger one gets the difference of weights. Here we get, we, uh, it was set x is small equal y. At the end, there is at most one stone left. Return the weight of this stone or zero if there are no stones left. Uh, I don't know if I should do anything smart about this. There are no requirements about, um, about the complexity because I can just simulate this. So I will spend a minute trying to maybe make some observation. Uh, if let, let's work with this example, because one solution is put everything into some ordered structure, like set in C++, then keep taking max two elements and simulate the process. This will be of n times log n. Uh, well, stone's lengths are 30, so I can avoid sort. It will be just... Let, let's do O of n plus 30. It will be O of n... Oh, no, no, so, sorry. I messed up to um, those two values. But if this is so small, then I guess they are okay with this. I don't see a point. Sometimes I don't know if I'm overcomplicating. Put everything into set. Keep, keep taking max to elements. So, yeah, let, let's do that. Because there can be repetitions in C++, I need an ordered set. Let's call it S. Iterate over stones and insert into the multiset. While uh, insert value X. While not empty, or even better, size is at least two. I need top two elements. Uh, I let's take S dot and value y will be star of minus minus it this decreases iterator by one this points to after the set this points to the last element of a set so the greatest one same thing i can decrease it one more time and take the second last element in python it would be something like if it's sorted collection y is s of minus one uh, x is s of minus two uh, so maybe that's easier to understand for you. But I'm taking two last elements. If x is equal y, just erase. Oh, I need to erase, by the way. So maybe let's implement function uh, pop. Take max, or pop max, actually. This is called lambda function in C++. value is star of and now there is this way to take the last element that's some other thing in c plus plus sorry about that as dot erase uh, now this will be better the biggest element second biggest element if x is not y then as insert y minus x. Mm, if s empty, then what do we return? Return zero if there are no stones left. <laughs> zero. That's some stupid way to write it. Else return the only element. I don't know. I'm recording those these videos every day, like 
from scratch without any preparation, but because of it I'm making some stupid mistakes and it makes a boring video. I don't know, maybe I will change my approach for the third week. If, if you have some suggestions, let me know in the comments, because after this week, maybe for third week, I will prepare in advance. Instead of recording myself solving problem from scratch, I will prepare, make some nice educational video instead of this thing. Okay, uh, now, was I supposed to do anything smarter than this? Insert a difference. If equal, then this. Let's analyze with this example. I sort. sort sorting seems necessary. I pop two last elements, seven and eight. They give me extra one, but that possibly could be a big number. I need to insert that in a structure. This is why I have some ordered structure doesn't have to be the first element or whatever then remove those two what if i just have three values let's say 10 12 and 15. do i get anything smart from this at the end i will have difference of two last elements uh, what does hint say simulate the process we can do it with heap or by searching some list of stones every time we take a turn uh, then, then I'm disappointed. Uh, I don't know why the limits are so low and just an exercise on knowing uh, knowing a structure in your language. I should have used a priority queue, right? Maybe let's try the same now with Python. What about this? Python prayer or heap example. I need to do this. I'm not a Python expert. Return the smallest element from heap. Okay, let's try that. I don't know if I need to import. Using Heapify to convert list into heap. Of stones. Do I, can I have size? Uh, Python heap q size. I don't see it, so let's maintain it. Size is len of stones initially. Well, size at least two. Then what do I do? Uh, pop, I, I do that. Hip pop of Lee. Of stones. If x is equal y, then just decrease the size by 2. Else, decrease the size by 1 and insert a new element. y minus x. If size is equal 0, return 0. Otherwise, return that I don't know what what why I went to <laughs> I don't know why I went for multiset in C++ your answer minus 17 the expected answer one because I'm taking smallest element maybe that's an issue uh, what can I do with this Python heap Q reverse order
I can change anything to minus value. Hippify max. What a funny word, hippify. After each element pop. I think I will go for negative values. Uh, for i in range of size, stones of i is minus stones of i. Those are negative now. Y is this, x is that. Insert value with minus as well. Instead of keeping one to three, I will keep minus three, minus two, minus one. Size is zero and return minus. Submit. That's your solution in Python, but I'm not an expert in Python. So don't use that as some kind of, I don't know, smart thing to do. Go to discuss. I think we can look up a solution. Yeah, everybody used priority queue. Pop is C plus plus solution. Nothing smart. Go to discuss. And values are small up to 1000 so we can avoid structures like that but if n is up to 30 and values up to 1000 then it's faster to do a priority queue n log n for n equal to 30 is much better than o of 1000 in creating such an error but yes the count sort is possible maybe i will cut this video a little bit to maybe put python solution first i don't know if that's smart or not because in C++, I, I don't remember why I didn't use priority queue and instead went for a more complicated multiset. Yeah, I will put Python first. I didn't have a timer, but well, whatever. Uh, that's it for today. Uh, and we're going to 100,000 subscribers very, very, very soon. That's very cool. Uh, yeah, bye. See you in the next video.